telling us that he did have a big surprise, something he wanted to unveil for the first time. Let me show you something. Oh, man. Oh, my God. This. This is? These are octocopters. Yeah. These are uh, effectively drones, but there's no reason that they can't be used as delivery vehicles. Take a look up here so right. I can show you how it works. All right. We're talking about delivery here. We're talking about delivery. So there's an item going into the vehicle. I know this looks like <laughs> science fiction. It's not. Wow. This is early. This is still years away. Drops the package. There's the package. You come and get your package. And we can do half-hour delivery. Half-hour delivery. Half-hour delivery. And we can carry objects, we think, up to five pounds, which covers 86% of the items that we deliver. And what is the range between the fulfillment center and where you can these, do this within this, this, 30 minutes? These generations of vehicles that could be a 10-mile radius from a fulfillment center. So in urban areas, it could actually cover very significant uh, portions of the population. Um, and so it won't work for everything. You know, we're not going to deliver kayaks or no. table saws this way. Right. These are electric motors, so this is all electric. It's very green. It's better than driving trucks around. This is all an R&D project. With drones, there's somebody sitting somewhere in front of a screen. Not these. These are autonomous. So you, you give them instructions of which GPS coordinates to go to, and they take off, and they fly to those GPS coordinates. What's the hardest challenge in making the, this happen? The hard part here is putting in all the redundancy, all the reliability, all the systems you need to say, look, this thing can't land on somebody's head while they're walking around their neighborhood. That's not good. That's not good. And, you know, I don't want anybody to think this is just around the corner. This is years of additional work from this point. But, well, years but means is, five, ten. I'm an optimist, Charlie. Yeah. I know it can't be before 2015 because that's the earliest that we could get the rules right. uh, from the FAA. My guess is that's, that's probably a little optimistic. But could it be, you know, four or five years? I think so. It, it will work, and it will happen, and it's going to be a lot of fun. With the drones possibly taking flight in the not-too-distant future, Amazon is raising the stakes in the race for faster delivery. Jeff Bezos believes the company has no choice. Companies have short lifespans, Charlie, and Amazon will be disrupted one day. Then you worry about that? I don't worry about it because I know it's inevitable. Companies come and go, and the companies that are the shiniest and most important of any era, you wait a few decades and they're gone. And your job is to make sure that you delay that date. I'd, sir, I would love for it to be after I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> Intrigued by the thought of Amazon drones landing at your doorstep? Go to 60minutesovertime.com to hear and see more.